All right, folks, what's happening? Welcome to another edition of Gavin's Good News Vlog, the first place on the internet to showcase the best of positive news around the planet. Woohoo! Let me know what you think about all the stories in the comments section. Let's crack right into it. So we'll probably have quite a few World Cup things going on at the moment. I'm going to try and keep it all lighthearted and less football-y, as I appreciate that some of you could not care less about the World Cup. But this one is quite funny. It revolves around the extremes that some will go to to get to Russia. There's a group of Mexico supporters who've decided to hire a bus and decorate it in flamboyant colours as they drive around the country to watch their team play. No doubt. They've had the time of their lives so far, especially after the opening game, beating the world champions Germany 1-0. The only thing, one of their mates couldn't make it, so they've taken a cardboard cutout of him around with them. Javier wasn't allowed to go by his other half, apparently, so the four have been having fun with their fake pal on the streets in the stadia and have even made a bed for him where they stay. You can, of course, follow their adventures on a Facebook group called Ingu Sumatruska, I hope I haven't butchered that too much with the pronunciation. There's a link to the page uh, below. Have a click on it. It's underneath in the description. This viral clip during the rounds shows how a dad in Stafford in the UK surprised his kids after arriving back from the Falklands. Dressed as a delivery driver with a takeaway, the kids had no idea he was going to be turning up. Michael Davies Phillips, who's 28, had been stationed in the Falklands since November. He was originally due to arrive home in May, but the father of two, who serves in the 7 Regiment Royal Logistics Corps, had his tour extended with no set date for his return home. The look on 10-year-old Flynn and 6-year-old Imelda's faces are priceless. Dad Michael said it was one of the hardest things to leave the kids for such a long time. He's now got the whole summer with the family and has even got a tour of the US planned in the pipeline we hear. Now I think the headline Minute Twerk does well for this one. Builders struggling to cope in the heat of the UK's red hot summer, boiling hot here, have taken a rather unusual and somewhat liberating approach to get around these strict uniform rules on their construction site in Surrey. Health and safety regulations said they couldn't wear shorts, so the lads got all entrepreneurial and borrowed some of their wives' skirts, and they popped to the local supermarket as well, uh, to get some dresses to get around the problem. Gender equality regulations now allow men to wear frocks and skirts on site. And uh, what a sight this was. Seems absurd that they couldn't wear shorts. The best thing I love about this story though, some people were even wolf whistling the builders. Love it. An African inventor has won a major prize for coming up with a device to test for malaria without taking any blood. It's the work of Ugandan Brian Gita. The 24-year-old won the Royal Academy of Engineering's Africa Prize. The invention shines a beam onto the patient's finger with the result delivered to a smartphone in a minute. Wow, amazing stuff. No blood is taken, no needles are needed. His team hopes that the device can lead to better malaria detection across the continent with $33,000 won from the prize to develop it further. I know that they are Lastly, we've got to finish with some gorilla banter. Yeah, gorilla banter, why not? The great ape from Miami Zoo has been caught on camera amusing the crowds by telling them in sign language that he's not allowed food. Someone then chucks an orange in the pen. He has a check for his trainer and then realizing there's nobody about, he wolfs it down knowing he's got away with it scot-free. The end. What a great story to finish on. Gorilla banter, hey. Thank you very much, Nee, for watching. Hit the like, follow, and subscribe button, and let us know what you think of the show in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. This has been Gavin's Good News Vlog. Until next time, have a top day and big love.